I kind of quit when I started my paper route. We had a uh, cigar company called Honeys, something Honeys. So it used to be a paper route. I delivered it, and it was like our first advertiser. I'd smoke them when I drove the Astro van. I got so high, and I was just done with them. When was this? Uh, 2004. You had a paper route in 2004? Barstool started as a newspaper. So I used to like hand it out, and we had those little news racks outside subway stations. For 48 hours, I'd just jump in my Astro van and fill the news racks, drop them in bars throughout Boston. Really? Yeah, that's how it started. That's how you started? Yeah, it was a newspaper. Wow. Yeah. So okay. your own newspaper. Yeah. Wow. I'd wake up like 4 a.m., go to the subway, hand it out to people, like walking by me, just scream at them, like take the newspaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the motivation to do that? Like, so how did you get the idea? I was always into gambling. And I so I had a normal sales job. I always knew I wanted to try my own thing. Flew out to Vegas, met with like the casinos. They're all like, you got to be a dealer. You got to start at the bottom. I was like, I don't want to do that. Talked to offshore casinos and said, how do I get involved? And they all said, at the, the internet at the time I did this, if you went to a gambling site, fireworks, pop-ups, look like you're getting your credit card stolen. They actually said, get us off the internet, put us in a physical newsletter, and we'll advertise. So I sold like a year of advertising before we launched, and it was a gambling rag. It was like a four-page newspaper, but I sold the advertising, and it allowed me just to morph. So like during the course of the year, we slowly moved strictly away from gambling to more like men's interest, like girls and things like that. That's how it started. Wow. So when you were into gambling, like why did you decide to do a newspaper? Because I knew I wanted to do something I enjoyed doing. I was doing cold calling sales. I couldn't do that my whole life. And when I called these casinos to advertise, it's what I just said. The internet was cluttered. It was filled. It was a time when if you, it, it literally every gambling website had little graphics of fireworks popping up, everything, and the gambling companies wanted to get off the internet because it was too cluttered. So they, they said, if you do a newsletter or a newspaper, we'll advertise. So that's why I created it. How funny is that? They, they wanted to get off the internet. Off the internet. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Barstool Sports. Oh, my God. Look at that. 2003, the first issue of Barstool Sports. Yeah. Wow. Hooters football. First advertisers. Yeah. Hooters. <laughs> Hooters was your first. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hooters is apparently in trouble. I just read something about Hooters is the, not doing That's well. the fake story? Is that a fake story? I don't know. The one that the that people aren't interested in tits anymore? Yeah. Well, that's a fake story. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that's the one. That's not true. I think that that is that's a ridiculous conclusion. Like just because a business that has girls, you know, with uh owl eyes over their tits i don't know how they get away with it i've always wondered that in this like culture basically where where you can just hire on looks yeah that is true right but don't they do that in strip clubs too yeah i mean they kind of (laughs) do yeah but i don't know how like yeah there's no equality in strip clubs no some are better than others but yeah it's based on looks yeah all that body positivity shit that's out the window (laughs) so how do you figure like how do they get away with how's a restaurant get away with it it's a good question but it's the same thing in like those chippendale shows absolutely it's yeah i mean that's what you're selling if that's what you're selling you get away with it yeah that must be the case it is the it got i mean but it's not with models anymore like now you can be an obese model yes but that's also because you're selling clothes to people that are obese because well, there's a lot of people that are overweight. You can sell correct. them clothes. and I guess it's good to have an overweight model because if you're an overweight person, you buy clothes, like, oh, that would look good on me. It looks good on her. Yeah, it's half it's half public pressure and half business because like Victoria's Secret got basically bullied out of their fashion show and their entire model by only having like, mo- uh, like the perfect Victoria's Secret angels. They had to go plus size. Now- they did that because of public pressure or because of business decision or kind of both. You know, where they stuck their guns if they're like, our business is killing it. We don't care what you say. I don't know. I wonder. I bet it enhanced their business to have plus well, size. Correct. So a good, good business move. Are they doing it right? Are they doing it? I'm one of those guys. I don't think there's any, uh, I forget the word they're going to say, um, altruism. I don't think there's an altruistic act in the world. I think every single thing somebody does is even if it just makes you feel good, well, that's not altruistic. Right. Yeah, I've said that before about being kind and generous, that it makes you feel good. It's actually good for you, too. Correct. But it's still kind and generous. It's like just because like someone enjoys it doesn't mean it's not altruistic. 
It's just that there is a benefit to the person that does it too. The, I, I think a lot of people have this idea of altruism that you only uh, you're only benefiting the person you're helping, and that's the only real altruism. But I think it's you're also yeah. I mean, it it benefits you, but it benefits you, and it just it feels good. It's like I think people look at when people have ulterior motives. If someone has like. Like charities bother me when I find out that the people behind the charities are making millions of dollars. That's the worst thing in the that world. That is scary.